Welcome to A Radiantly Healthy Life, the podcast where we explore natural health and wellness just for women. Here, we'll dive into a mix of mindfulness, homeopathy, herbal remedies, functional medicine, and those tried and true traditional methods. I'm Amy Whitbeck, your host and fellow traveler on this journey toward better health. As a natural health coach, I'm excited to share insights and tips I've learned not only through personal experience, but also from the amazing women I coach. So grab your favorite cup of tea or cozy drink, and let's chat as we walk this path to radiant health and happiness. Hi, and welcome to a Radiantly Healthy Life podcast. My name is Amy, and today we're going to be talking about five easy ways to beat the winter blues. If you live in the north like I do, the gray skies during the day and early sunset in the evening is already starting to take a toll. Now don't get me wrong, I don't mind a little snow around Christmas time, it just makes everything so beautiful. But up here in the frozen tundra, which is the nickname for northeast Wisconsin, winters are really long. I don't know about you, but I feel a huge difference in my mood, energy levels, and overall wellness on days that are sunny. When we go through many days of no real sun, I start to feel slow, cold, my mood changes, and I can even feel more anxious or depressed. If you feel like the winter days are long and you notice your mood and general feeling of well-being changing, you could be experiencing either the winter blues or seasonal affective disorder. What are the winter blues or seasonal affective disorder? The term winter blues and seasonal affective disorder are often used interchangeably. And while they do share some common symptoms, they're not exactly the same. We'll start with the winter blues. It's not uncommon to feel a little slower in the winter or find yourself longing for the days of summer and sun, and you may even feel a little gloomy. You may not feel as energetic, and you could find yourself snuggling in a little earlier than you would in the spring or summer, but you generally find enjoyment in life and feel well. This could be considered the winter blues. If your symptoms are more severe or begin to hinder your ability to enjoy life, you're really getting into seasonal affective disorder territory. So what is seasonal affective disorder? Well, seasonal affective disorder, or SAD for short, is a very common type of depression that typically begins in the fall and can last until spring. Symptoms of SAD may start out similar to the winter blues, but often become more severe and they can affect everyday life. Common symptoms of SAD include sleep difficulties, feeling less social, mood fluctuations, loss of interest in activities, withdrawing from friends and family, feeling hopeless, suicidal thought, and there are a few others. The exact cause of SAD is unknown and is probably a combination of things, which may be different for each person. But here are some suspected causes of seasonal affective disorder. Changing of the seasons, lack of sunlight, less vitamin D, stress, gender, women experience SAD more often than men, disruption in circadian rhythm, changes in melatonin levels. It's also believed that if you deal with negative thinking, excessive stress, or depression already, you are more likely to experience seasonal affective disorder. Don't lose hope though. If you find yourself feeling the winter blues or dealing with SAD, there are ways you can help yourself that really work. Here are a few natural remedies for the winter blues and depression. Whether you feel a little blue or downright depressed during the winter months, these natural remedies are safe, effective, and are sure to enhance your health and wellness. The first natural remedy we'll go over is light therapy. During the dark days of winter, it's important to take any chance you get to go outside and soak up some sun. The natural light will help boost serotonin production and lift your mood. If you're interested in outdoor activities that would be perfect for enjoying a little nature and getting some fresh air and sunshine, I have 10 fun winter activities on my website, so be sure to go over and check those out too. Now, if you're not a fan of the outdoors, which I'm not either, or you find yourself going to work and coming home when it's dark, consider a sun lamp. These happy lights, as they're called, are perfect for adding natural spectrum light that can help improve mood, sleep, and just help you feel an overall lift. Around 30 minutes in the morning is all you typically need to see real benefits. The next natural remedy we'll go over is vitamin D. If you deal with winter blues or seasonal affective disorder, it's very important to have your vitamin D levels checked. For those of us who live in the Northern Hemisphere, it's very, very common to have low vitamin D levels, which has been linked to depression. If you have your levels checked and you find that you're low in vitamin D, getting out in the sun really isn't an option in the winter for most of us. So here are a few great supplements that can help. The first is cod liver oil. 
This traditional remedy is packed with goodness. It has vitamins A, D, and a full spectrum of omega fatty acids that make this well-rounded, healthy supplement choice. The second one is a vitamin D cream. If you're not interested in cod liver oil, liquid, or capsules, this vitamin D cream may be just what you're looking for. It can be applied to the skin and your body absorbs the vitamins. And the third supplement you may want to check out would be liquid vitamin D. The liquid vitamin also has K2 that supports healthy bones and immunity, and it's easily absorbable. The third natural remedy that would help with the winter blues or seasonal affective disorder is eat well and exercise. I know all too well that making healthy meals and finding the energy to exercise isn't easy, and it can actually feel totally impossible when you're dealing with the winter blues or if you're in a deep depression. But if you have any extra energy, use it on this. What we eat and how we move our bodies have a direct effect on our brain health and mood. If you're feeling down or depressed and you begin to eat less than healthy convenience foods, you're only going to add to the problem. Here are two tricks to eating as healthy as possible when you have low mood, depression, or anxiety. The first is order groceries online. Many stores offer this and it is absolutely wonderful. Whether you have young kids and dread taking them to the store, have limited time, or can't deal with all the people because of stress, depression, or anxiety, ordering groceries and picking them up is a godsend. And some stores even deliver. Actually, a lot of stores deliver. The second tip I have is batch cooking. Making all of your food for the week in one day is not only convenient and cost effective, but it can also really help in those times when you feel like it takes every ounce of energy just to get through your day. By doing this, you'll have healthy food ready and you'll be less likely to reach for unhealthy convenience foods. As far as exercise, do your best. You may not feel like it, but putting on your favorite music and going for a 10 minute walk outside or inside really will help get the blood flowing, the mind working in a positive way and lift your mood. If you're not feeling like walking, a nice easy yoga routine can help relax, reset and stretch your body. The next tip I have is is to reframe your thought. Our bodies are guided by cycles, and this can be seen in the immune system, hormones, and even individual cells. In fact, because of these cycles, it's not uncommon for people to feel slower, experience hormone changes, a circadian rhythm shift, and even have thyroid function slow in the winter. But our modern life doesn't typically allow for this natural slowing down, which is when problems sometimes arise. Winter is a time of year with a typically slower pace, yet we continue to push forward at full speed and don't accept this natural rhythm. Since our thoughts and perspectives play such a large role in our feelings and even our health, we need to acknowledge this rhythm and work with it as best we can instead of against it. Try thinking of this slower time as a chance to rest and recharge instead of something to just get through. If you're wondering how to do that, here's a few ideas. Celebrate winter and enjoy it as a season of slowness and rest. Make your living space warm and inviting. Enjoy the warm glow of candles or a salt lamp in the evening. Take time to read books that have been on your list. Get comfy and cozy with your favorite hot tea or other drink. Invite friends and family over for dinner and games. And disconnect from your phone or computer and go to bed early. Looking at winter as a wonderful chance to enjoy different activities and focusing on the positive aspects instead of the negative will help encourage enjoyment in life. And the next tip I have is to get help. If you find yourself experiencing symptoms of the winter blues or seasonal affective disorder and you feel like it's really hindering your everyday life, it may be time to find help. But please remember there's no shame in reaching out. Mental health is just as important as physical health. So if you feel yourself struggling, don't wait until things go from bad to worse. The earlier you find help, the better. I know it isn't easy, but by taking that step, you'll be able to talk with someone who has a different view of you than a close friend or family member and can give insight into different skills and techniques that could really be helpful. There are even licensed professionals available online. No more trying to fit in an appointment across town or needing to find a babysitter. Now you can see a therapist in the comfort of your own home or on your lunch break. There are many companies, but one that I have heard good reviews of is BetterHelp.com. They offer options like live sessions, phone sessions, and many counselors will even text you. So how do you have your best winner yet? Feeling down or having depression is most likely due to a combination of factors. And while it's not always possible to change all of them, there is still a lot that you can do. 
spending time outside in the sun or using a sun lamp, eating well, adding movement to each day, working to reframe your thoughts, and embracing the natural rhythms of life are huge steps toward a winter with less depression. If you find yourself dealing with winter blues or seasonal affective disorder, start implementing the changes now. This may be your best winter yet. If you have any healthy tips, please feel free to share. I hope these five easy ways to beat the winter blues has been helpful. If you're looking for more information or you'd like to read more about this, feel free to go to my website, aradiantlyhealthylife.com and check out all the info there. And be sure to join me next time for more health and wellness info just for women. Thanks for listening today. Are you interested in diving deeper? Head over to aradiantlyhealthylife.com and be sure to sign up for my email list so you can stay up to date on what's new and gain access to exclusive tips, insights, and resources available only to my community. While you're there, feel free to leave a comment. I'd love to hear from you. And if you like this episode, consider sharing it with a friend. Every share helps us reach more people and spread the message of health and wellness. I'll be back next week. But in the meantime, remember, small steps really do make a big difference. See you next time.